a big hello to everybody out there. This is the American Bollywood Television and this is Hollywood Buzz. I'm Sumi. And I'm Nikki and we're going to fill you in with the latest scoops happening in Hollywood. Well, to start off the show, we're going to talk about a person who's always been talked about. We're talking about Justin Bieber. But you know what, Lady, I love the way he has matured as a singer. Love his songs. And I, I believe after the whole comedy roast, he's just grown up so much and his mm -hmm. album, Everybody Loves It. But anyway, Haley Baldwin has been saying that their relationship was very tough to maintain. In a new interview, she's stating about her relationship and she opens up more about what it was like dating Justin Bieber. So what do you think it was like? I'm sure it was awesome. I love Justin Bieber. <laughs> so I would not complain. If I was Haley Baldwin, I would be happy. <laughs> Haley Baldwin, of course, has been close to the singer for several years now, and she nearly crashed the internet when she was spotted kissing Justin Bieber over the New Year's holiday a few months ago. Without referencing the famous artist by name, Baldwin did go into detail regarding all the attention she has received since the public saw her swap spit with Justin. Text started coming through, crazy phone calls. It's hard to date someone in this industry, said the 19-year-old. You have to have really thick skin and be very strong. You have to focus on the person and nothing else. So, does that mean she's focusing on Bieber and nothing else? Are the two a real romantic item? We are not an exclusive couple. He's about to go on tour, says Haley. Relationships at this age are already complicated, but I really don't like to talk about it because it's between me and him. At some point, of course, Bieber will be done touring, and then questions about him and Baldwin will start up again. Bieber and Haley are still close friends, but he is on tour and extremely busy now, so they have not seen each other that much, another source says, adding, Bieber and Haley love each other, but have a good understanding where they both stand at the moment. Well, people don't have a beaver fever. Well, let's see where this love story goes. Looks like Baldwin was caught with a fever. However, we still can't figure out if he's with Selena or Haley, but I guess he's also figuring that out himself. I'd be happy with any of these. <laughs> and now we're going to talk about the other people that are always on the news again, the Kardashians. And of course, Justin Bieber once again. So Kourtney Kardashian was actually reportedly saying, or maybe even not saying, that Justin Bieber is the best lover she's ever had. Wow. A source says, Kourtney thinks Justin is the best lover ever. Of course, Kourtney spent nine years with her baby daddy, Scott Disick, so she might have a lot to compare him to. Nevertheless, it sounds like Eve's got the goods over the Lord. While Courtney and Justin seem to have a hot physical connection, sources say that the relationship remains casual and arrangement both parties are happy with. However, Justin has spent time with Courtney's three children, which Scott can be thrilled over. But she joked that Justin is great with kids, certainly more playful and fun with them than Scott ever was, says the source. It's no secret that Scott has been pinning for Courtney's ever since she dumped him last year. In a recent episode of I'm Kate, Caitlyn Jenner asked Scott if he wanted to reconcile with his ex. I mean, you know, I think that would be like a dream, Scott admitted. End of the day, I would love to see us work everything out and be in love again and watch movies together and be intimate, love each other and be best friends. So who's Justin Bieber really with? Haley, Selena, or Courtney? And remember, he was actually with Kendall Jenner, so that makes it a little weird. Oh wow, that was a, that's what I call it, a awesome foursome. <laughs> and now with the uh, sad news, well, we just found out uh, that Doris Roberts, the Emmy Award-winning actress, has died. At the age of 90, she has died. We're not sure how she actually passed away. Mm -hmm. However, she did pass away. And if everybody remembers, she's from the show Everybody Loves, Loves Raymond. Raymond. And everybody absolutely loved her in, in the her show. Soul, rest in peace. Roberts, a native of St. Louis, was a 20-year veteran of Broadway before she moved on to a wildly successful career in television. She won five Emmy Awards in total, four of them for Marie Barone, the mother of title character on CBS's Everybody Loves Raymond, which featured Ray Romano. 
The veteran actress also starred in a multitude of other television shows and movies, most notably National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. She is survived by her son Michael Canetta Jr., who she had with her first husband. Doris's second husband, William Gowen, passed away in 1983. Patricia Heaton, who co-starred on Everybody Loves Raymond, says the following in response to the sad news. Truly the end of an era. My wonderful TV mother-in-law and ELR nemesis, Doris Roberts, was a consummate professional from whom I learned so much. She was funny and tough and loved life, living it to the fullest. Nothing gave her greater joy than her three wonderful grandchildren, of whom she was so proud. It was truly a privilege, Doris. I love you and miss you. We send our condolences to her friends, family, and loved ones. Well, it's pretty sad to hear about Doris, but at the same time, we have another sad news about another very popular singer, Prince, who passed away recently. Prince, who is also a legendary singer in America. Everybody absolutely loves this guy, and he has passed away recently, and everybody is immensely sad about this news. So let's hope his soul rests in peace as well. All right, people, this is Hollywood Buzz right here on American Bollywood Television. I'm Sumit. And I'm Nikki. And right now, we're going to talk about some pretty ladies. We're going to talk about Huntsman and the Winter War. So these three beautiful ladies, Hollywood babes, Charlize Theron, Emily Blunt, and Jessica Chastain will be facing off each other. So let's see who will win between this redhead, brunette, and blonde. Who do you go for? Charlie Emily Theron. Blunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm sure you have your favorite as well. Well, pick your favorite and let's see how it goes. I like that Charlize has always been a brave actress looking for quality roles in a landscape where she's been vocal about really good looking people like herself getting the short end of the stick. If I were hard pressed to say so, well, I actually don't think that Theron is as death defying beautiful as some people proclaim her to be. But the self-assuredness, confidence, and bravery really makes her the standout that she has become. The first time that I noticed Emily Blunt while well, she was playing the snarky assistant in The Devil Wears Prada, playing the character of Anne Hathaway's lead, and I thought, oh, I want to know her better. Well, that's the kind of power that Blunt has with her dimpled chin and cheekbones sharp enough to cut glass. Well, she's funny, she's smart, she's athletic, she's savvy, she's a whole lot of things with beautiful thrown in there to boot. She's definitely a leading lady with hell of a character. Love me those redheads. Well, Jessica Chestin seemingly burst out of nowhere to leading lady. A lister status overnight while going from a couple of high profile roles to roles in nearly everything big budget that was getting released. Many have noticed that she's one of the nicest, most amenable actors to work with today of men or women, which probably helps her cause. Of course, being brutaliciously built and extremely lovely can't hurt either. So who's going to win this battle? The redhead, the brunette, or the blonde? All right, people, welcome back to Hollywood Buzz once again on American Bollywood Television. So breaking news, Tom mm -hmm. Hiddleston, who's been working with Marvel Productions since 2011, is ready to quit his role as Loki and he's going to just move on from Marvel Productions. Why? There's a big question there. Maybe he's just tired of doing superhero movies. Maybe he wants more versatile roles. Probably, probably. Well, we'll wait and watch and find out. Tom is now ready to retire as a supervillain and has already arranged with Marvel bosses when his final appearance in the franchise will be. Truthfully, I do actually know at the moment how many more times I'm going to play Loki, but I'm not going to tell you, he told the New York Daily News. It's not personal, it's just keeping it fresh for all paying customers to enjoy their films. Despite his desire to stop playing villain, the 35-year-old reveals he has enjoyed his time as Loki as he finds the costumes actors have to wear for comic books movies hilarious. That's what happens on set. 
Everyone starts laughing at each other because the costumes are so extreme, he shared. You're standing there with the crew, everyone holding styrofoam cups of coffee, and everyone's wearing very brightly colored leather that's highly entertaining. Quitting would give the actor more time to take on other film parts, and he is rumored to be considered as a replacement for Daniel Craig as British super spy James Bond. He has previously admitted he'd likely take the role if offered it. And last month told UK newspaper The Sunday Times, I love the whole thing. If it ever came knocking, it would be an extraordinary opportunity. All right, for all you fans out there, well, there might be a better news. Well, it's sad to know that he's quitting Marvels, but then looks like something bigger is in his pocket. So Tom Hiddleton might, might, be a replacement for James Bond, so he might play James Bond. Alright, so people, with all this, we have almost come to the end of Hollywood Buzz right here on American Bollywood Television, but then we are going to be back next week. Yes, and make sure you follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we also put up all of our videos on YouTube. So until we meet again, this is me, Sumit. And this is Nikki. And uh, keep watching the American Bollywood Television.